Tomorrow, a former Cleveland Schools employee will be sentenced for her involvement in the January 6th Capitol riot. But she is asking the judge for mercy, sending a long letter apologizing and saying she's changed. Bree Buckley has the story. Christine Priola says it was this day that changed her life forever. The former Cleveland Schools therapist is hoping a 10-page letter to a U.S. district judge will help her get a more lenient sentence for her involvement in the January 6th Capitol riot. This picture showing her inside the Senate chamber. In the letter, she says that she used to wish she had food poisoning that day or a broken leg so she would have avoided committing a crime. Now she's claiming full responsibility, asking the judge for mercy ahead of her sentencing Friday, going on to say she had turned to news and politics to excessively fill a void, saying she was emotional in the months leading up to that day after her daughter moved out and her father died. Go find the children. This footage from last year shows her outside her old Willoughby home shouting ideology that aligns with QAnon conspiracy theories of government child sex trafficking. She says she was forced to sell that home following the fallout after the riot to move into her mother's basement. This world is run on the blood of innocent children. Since then, she's pled guilty to obstruction of an official proceeding and aiding and abetting an extremely serious federal offense, according to former federal prosecutor Sabod Chandra. The court really has a lot to weigh here. They have to weigh the fact that this individual has at least belatedly accepted responsibility and done so in a rather dramatic way and then compare it to the conduct and the planning and the seriousness and the message that needs to be sent to the public. He says the court will be considering not only her punishment, but a sentence that will deter others from doing the same. The world is watching this and the judge knows it. This is not one of those sort of intimate moments in a courtroom where it's just one individual who's made a mistake. As she hopes her plea won't fall on deaf ears, apologizing for her actions, saying, quote, I am truly sorry for all those who were hurt that day, especially those who died. I hope someday they can forgive me. Now, her daughter, mother, and aunt also wrote letters defending her character, calling her compassionate and hardworking. Her lawyer says she only ended up in Senate chambers by chance, and she was there to peacefully protest. Now, Russ, again, she'll be sentenced tomorrow. And if you want to read that full letter, we have that on our website. Okay, Bree Buckley, thank you. And Priola's sentencing will come one day after a Tennessee man who dragged a police officer into a mob during the attack was sentenced to seven and a half years in prison. 43-year-old Albuquerque Head was given the second longest sentence to date in the Capitol riot cases. D.C. police officer Michael Fanone suffered a heart attack and traumatic brain injury during the attack.